Okay, so this question, I won the lottery. I just won the Powerball lottery and wanted to keep it a secret, but I told two close friends who each told five other people, and those in turn each told four other people. How many people other than me heard the story of my lottery win? Be careful how you count, okay? So let's start off with the two close friends. Here's one friend, here's another, okay? So two people know, we know that much, right? We all agree on that. But I mean, one thing I want to highlight with these questions is please start drawing things out, make diagrams, and just take your time. Like, there's no rush, you know, because the thing about math you always need to remember is if you make one mistake, you're wrong. So there's no point just jumping to the first thing that comes to mind, writing in the answer, and then, worst of all, on a test, you press a bit and see if you got it right. Okay, we don't want that. We want you to uh, do a diagram, take your time. Um, um, if, if you get stuck, ask for help, look at your student's work. Um, ask for help from your instructor and try to figure this stuff out because we want you to, you know, um, so do, don't be quick when you're working these things out. Take your time. So I told two close friends who each told five other different people and those in turn each told four other different people. Okay, so this person told how many? Five other different people. Okay, so this person told five other different people. Here they are. One, two, three, four, five. So this person told five other people <coughs> and this other person did also, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then what happened? Those in turn each told four other different people. Those in turn each told four other different people. So this person told four. One, two, three, four. Agreed? This person told four. One, two, three, four. And so on, right? And this person, and I hope you're getting the, the, the picture here. Each of these told four. Now, here's four people. I'm just going to write the number four. This person told four, 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 and this person told four. Now, can you figure out what the answer is? Okay, so the trick is not to just be multiplying things and typing in the first answer that comes to mind. Like, let's make sure you got it right. Because if you make one mistake with math and the whole thing's wrong. Okay, so let's let's calculate it properly. Okay. So the trick is, look, you start with two, okay? And these green guys ensure that's five here, five here. This is indeed two times five equals 10, okay? But remember, we started with two, and then we have 10 new people. Now, if you add them, remember, that's 12, right? That's 12 people. And so we've got two, two that start with, and then 10 next, and then and for each of those 10, there's four. So for each of these 10, uh, green people let's call them you take your 10 green people <coughs> and you multiply that by 4 because each of those told 4 right and what does that give us 40 okay but remember you've started with 2 people and then we had 10 other different now that's a total of 12 and now there's 40 more and that's that's got to be added on to 12 that's 52 so you got to remember to add these guys together right so the answer is actually 52 people now know even though you only started with two okay that's how gossip spreads all right so especially if you're taking a test i really want to see some diagrams i want to see you guys taking time give these questions a good five or ten minutes of your time don't just think oh i'll just multiply some numbers out and type in the answer okay